Hey guys, welcome to a premium beat tutorial. My name is Lewis and today we are going to look at creating a peephole point of view effect. If you didn't catch it, let's rewind that scene. Here's the peephole shot and here's the shot before. These shots have been used in countless times in film and television. Peephole shots are great to build tension at a SWAT team rushing towards the door, but they ultimately go to the wrong room or when someone is being haunted and we see uh, an eye of the demon appear. Personally, I like to use mine to spy on my postman as he's posting letters through the door because you can never be too careful on who's going to steal your mail, especially vintage comics. It's a great shot that can really add an interesting dynamic to your scene. This effect can be produced in a number of ways from using an extreme fisheye lens or to using a cardboard cutout to create a vignette, a technique employed by many no budget filmmakers. However, in this circumstance, we're going to create the shot solely by using a wide angle lens. It doesn't have to be too extreme, but the wider the better. And I don't know if you've ever tried to film for a peephole, but well, the results exactly aren't that great. Let's have a look at creating this effect in After Effects. This is a pre-made composition, 1920 by 1080, and we're only going to be using three elements. The footage, a peephole pre-made layer, which I will be giving to you guys for free. You can download that from the write-up of this tutorial. The link will be in the description. But this PNG file is an actual photograph of the peephole on my front door. And it has no background, so you can match it to the color of the door in your scene. And lens dirt. This isn't a file I've created, but there will be a link on the article to where you can download the layer for free. So let's bring the footage into our composition. Uh, the footage is a 4K file, so I'm just going to decrease that. Before I do, let's bring in the peephole file into our composition so I have a good idea on how much to decrease the scale by. Okay, cool. Now, the very first thing we need to look at is the optical distortion a peephole has. A peephole will have a convex surface to allow those looking through it to see if there's any dangers to the side. So someone standing in the center is going to be disproportionately larger than when we move to the edges where the objects and people will become smaller. There are a number of ways to do this in After Effects. Some might gravitate towards the bulge effect. But the problem is with this, it only affects a small area of the image while leaving the rest unaffected. You can extend coverage area, but as we start to increase that, you can see that we're just going to lose the effect that we're going for. So let's have a look at the optics compensation effect instead. This will affect the entire shot. So we'll drag this onto our footage. And first, we're going to change the field of view orientation to vertical. And then we're going to start to increase that field of view to something that looks OK. I think here around 80 mark works well for me. I'm actually going to cheat reality a moment and change the view center to appear by the man's head instead of his stomach. Uh, that way we can see his facial expressions. We've got movie magic. What's the point in making films if we can cheat reality a little bit? So let's play this back. Okay, that looks good. But at the moment, it still looks like a, a video clip being played through a circle. So to further enhance the characteristics of a people, we're going to apply a radial blur because the edges here, they look a little bit too clean. Again, drag that onto your footage. We are going to change the type from scratch to straight zoom and increase the amount accordingly. Uh, here around five, I think looks okay. And again, we're going to move the center to the man's face. Okay, so now it's starting to look pretty convincing. Now for our last touch, we're going to bring in the dirt file and place it above the video layer, but beneath the peephole layer. And we'll change the blend mode to screen. And we're going to simply copy and paste the effects, but you may notice it messes up the placement of the layer. Very simply adjust the view center accordingly. So there we go. For final touches, I'm just going to bring the exposure of the peephole layer down because I know my scene isn't that bright. And I'm going to give the background an off white to match the color of my door. When I've brought it into Premiere Pro, uh, I've also used these presets, which were downloaded from Vashi Visuals, to give the camera a slight bit of shake to make it look a little bit more organic. So there we have it, a very simple effect. You don't have to go through the process of hiring out a fisheye lens. A final bonus tip before I leave you, I would suggest to use a different focal length if you do have a shot of the person outside of the door, as I'm sure you'll have at least a few people who will recognize the shot characteristics if you just cut back to the same shot with the people layer removed. 
If you have enjoyed this tutorial, let us know in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, share this tutorial. There's a share function underneath the video. Look at all these. Who even uses Blogger anymore? Okay, it doesn't matter. Click them all.